If you would like to see how I made her mouth drop wide open, then stay tuned. So right here you just see me cleaning off the table with some Windex. Regardless of me putting table linen on this table, I like to start off with a clean foundation and I'm always about cleanliness. Lucky for me, the chairs are already green which match her decor colors. So all I needed was to put a pearl linen on the table to just bring it to life. This was actually gonna be utilized as a drink table. Um, beverage the bar area so I really didn't need to do much to this area so I wanted to keep it simple <music> moving on to the head table I had four six foot tables aligned in the living room as you can see, the table off to the very left had a deep slope in it. I had to get that rectified, but for the time being, I just had to press forward and continue going. Hey y'all, so I'm up early. I'm trying to get this party together. And um, CE Reynolds just dropped my stuff off, so I'm gonna show you all what I have in store. So here is the linen for the table. This green is so pretty. It's like a velvet green and I'm gonna get that out as soon as possible. And then we have plates. We have a pitcher for the water, soup bowls and stuff I think down there. Um, just dinner plate. Um, the dinner plates, and we have the chairs. Not sure what's in here, probably the flatware, and I'm correct, so. And wine glasses and things, so I'm about to get this stuff set up, so stay tuned. So now I'm just taking the table linen as well as the napkins out of the bag and just checking everything and making sure that I have everything. This linen was so beautiful. The texture of it was just amazing. And I knew it would be perfect for the colors that I was trying to go for. My sister is an AKA, so therefore I wanted to do pink and green and these colors came through. I mean came through. I'm trying to use one linen to put over two tables. I knew when I originally purchased this linen that it was going to be large. I ordered a 95 156. They did not have it in a smaller size, but I still wanted this linen. It was a little too short on one side, so I had to use all four linens for each table. I wanted to prevent the linen from looking messy because it was going to be a bunch of gathering on the floor. So I decided to gather in the middle where guests would not be sitting so that you could not tell that it was a lot of excess linen. So y'all, I have a little helper here. My mom is here, but she don't want to be on camera and that's fine. But I'm definitely about to put her to work, so yeah. So your task, mama. Silverware, y'all. Okay. So I'm gonna just bring this over here. Okay. 
So y'all, I'm actually about I'm unwrapping the charger to put on the table. And look how gorgeous these are. They're called beef on a lot of different websites, but I think they call them Starburst or something. I'm not sure. set this table just in case up my room call me back and I get another table. The chargers were wrapped in plastic wrap so as you can see I'm just removing that and as I'm removing that I'm also inspecting the plates. And yes, obviously you can tell that one of the table linens were darker than the rest. However, it's showing up darker on camera than it was in person. Of course, I noticed it, but I don't think my guests paid much attention to it. But I knew that it was darker. But I just had to continue to roll with the punches and just finish decorating. And wow, at this very moment, I realized I was sent the wrong place. They sent me. Let me call her right now to the they gave me the wrong place. Because those are dinner plates. I had chargers. Hey, y'all. So this is the ins and out of event planning. So they sent me the wrong place. Hey. So I asked for eight inch salad plates and they actually sent me like a 10.5 dinner plate, but I'll show you all um, the difference. So y'all, this so y'all, this is what I'm talking about. This is the dinner plate that I chose and this was supposed to be a salad plate. But as you can see, they basically sent a dinner plate. So I just spoke with, I think he's the manager and they're going to get some more plates sent out to me. But I hate that because I just want to get all this stuff set up at one time. But we're just going to do what we can do for now. So I just spoke with CE Rentals. I had to change my dinner plates because the ones that I ordered, well, I actually had to change my salad plates because the ones that I ordered was special order. I'm sure it came down from their warehouse, maybe in, I think it's in Raleigh or Winston-Salem, I'm not sure, but they didn't have them in the warehouse. So I had to change them. So now we're gonna do the opposite, whereas the salad plate, uh, the salad plate that I chose is now going to become the dinner plate and the dinner plate is going to become the salad plate. So basically it's still the same plates, but it just flip flop. Um, so that's part of being a, a event designer. You just got to roll with the flow. Everything's not going to go perfectly. So you just got to be able to think quick, and think on your toes. So we're just going to keep on rolling. It's a mistake. It's not that big of a deal. We can get it fixed. So stay tuned. We've got a lot more to do. Child, my motto is work smart, not hard. So that's what we're going to do. Work smart, and not hard. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. 
They sent the wrong picture too. This is too small for what we're trying to do. Okay, so when you get those put in there, that'll be cool. And then those two reef plates right here are gonna be exchanged out. So let me go ahead and give them that. Oh, my ring. Oh, my ring is really big, so I'm going to give you that a try. You said, and I gave you one more glass, right? Yeah. I got the one. cognac glass. Or whiskey glass. Okay. Um. All right, let me go upstairs so I can um put that stuff in there. Now I'm removing my votive candle holders from the box. I wanted to clean them because they had some type of greasy, oily substance on them. This was my first time using them. I'm just that girl. I like cleaning my stuff the first time that I use it, and this was the opportunity to do it because I wanted it to look clean and beautiful for the event. cleaning I had to hit a little two-step you know make the time go by fast that's me honey I'm going to clean I'm going to dance I'm going to sing I'm going to laugh and I'm going to talk junk but it just makes the event that much more beautiful In this moment, I was talking about my dad coming over the day before to help me set up. Honey, his attitude was not the best and it was too funny. I couldn't play the conversation though because I was playing music and you know I cannot get copyrighted. I told y'all I like to get a little bop on while I'm decorating. It's two things that I like to do, decorate and dance. You put them both together, boom. Oh, we got magic now. So now I'm just removing charger plates that had imperfections. Initially, when I called them about the salad plates, I also let them know that some of the charger plates had scratches on them. They advised me that when they sent the salad plates out that they would send additional amount of charger plates as well. When they came, they did not pick up the charger plates, but they said that they wanted to collect everything at one time. I didn't 
see my mama getting her groove on back there, but you all see where I get it from. Now I'm just going through and adding the dinner plates to the charger plates. It's so funny because those were not the dinner plates that I picked. Those were supposed to be the salad plates. However, the mistake turned out to be a good mistake. See, sometimes when you think something is bad, it ends up being good. So it worked out for me in the end. Now I'm getting to the part that I absolutely love. I'm starting to decorate the table and get an idea for how I want the setup to look. Sometimes I go into events having a thought in my mind and then sometimes I just kind of do it on site. I can't remember in this moment whether I made this up or did I think this out prior, but it ended up turning out beautiful and I just cannot wait for you all to see the end process. I decided to go with the long stem cylinder vases for this setup and I think it turned out absolutely perfect. This was my first time using these. I've had them for a while but never had the opportunity to use them. My goal for this look in this event was to go for very romantic, very sexy, very feminine. And I like to use candles to bring in all those aspects. I am a candle person. I will go candle overload. So if honey, you tell me you want candles, I'm giving you candles times two. So I had the cylinder, the long stem cylinder candles, then I was bringing in votive candles and I just wanted candles galore to complete this look. I guess this part of the song touched my soul at this point because I needed to get it off my chest. <laughs> So I had the charger plate as well as the dinner plate down. Now I needed to get the flatware plates down. And I wanted to go ahead and do this prior to adding all the decor because I wanted to see how much space I was working with. Um, this event was a 17 person event so it was kind of tight for the amount of space but it ended up working out. 
We had one person that dropped out at the last minute, so it brought it down to 16 people. So we had more space than I initially thought. So that is why I wanted to go ahead and get my table set before I started adding decor. I am so anal as it relates to decorating. It is like almost to a fault because I have to make sure that everything is in its exact place. As you can see, I'm like moving the chargers, making sure the flatware is in the same spot. My mom was like, oh my gosh, if you do not stop touching the same thing over and over, move on to the next thing. Luckily, I knew the amount of time I had to work with, so it wasn't a big deal, but when you're rushing, this can be a bad thing. But for this, it was good. Okay, I know, I know. I keep touching the same things over and over. And some would call this OCD, but I call it being very observant. I like for things to be in its perfect spot. Well, I don't wanna say perfect, cause nothing is perfect, but I like for things to look clean, neat, and just what I expect it to be. And if it's not, I have to fix it. I don't see anything wrong with that. Shout out to my mom, AKA my assistant. She did her thing with helping me get this all together. As you can see, she was laying the flatware out so I can just pick it up and go to the next um, place setting and be able to get that correct. And she was just a major help and I wouldn't have been able to get the day done without her. Thanks mom. I am that person that does not like to ask for help because I don't want to feel like I'm being a bother to anyone. But the one thing that I do realize with this job, this is not a one person's job. So you have to rely on the help of your team. In this case, my mom was my team and I actually did rely on her a lot. And with that, I'm just so grateful and honored that she was able to assist me and we pretty much got it done together. And it very much so just taught me a lesson with this whole entire event planning thing. And I just know that it's not a one person's job, it's a team. sitting back laughing at myself on how focused I was on that flatware like I was literally not playing any games and I was like nope that is not going to be one inch higher than the other that plate is not center move it move it move it and it really was not that serious
at least the one thing that you do know is that Amazing Grace Events and Design will work diligently to make your event one of the best events. I put love, care, and time and effort into every event that I do. And that is just my morals, period. I want everybody event to look like wow when they walk in and be more than what they expected so you always know that you are going to get what you asked for and go and above and beyond actually whenever you walk into your event even though the table was not complete this is what started bringing everything together for me when I started adding the napkins to the table, it was kind of like, oh my gosh, everything is coming together. That pink was so pretty. I initially did not know how I was going to fold the napkins. I kind of just came up with that off the top of my head at the last minute because I tried other things and it just wasn't working for me. So I just tried this big, like this big fold so that it would be showing a lot of the pink um underneath the salad plate and it ended up working out perfectly and i almost doubted myself on the shade of pink that i wanted to get for her but it was between this pink and a lighter pink but i ended up going with this pink and when she seen it she was like i am so glad you chose this bright pink it was the perfect pink this is the pink that i love so kudos to me and a pat on my back just a simple napkin fold it was not that hard it was just like a fold then another fold and another fold and it completed basically a square and that's what I wanted a large square underneath the plate I didn't want anything hanging down I just wanted something that was just going to be able to display the pink and give it that pop on top of that green
yeah, excuse the view, but now I'm starting to put down the stemware. So I have the whiskey glass as well as the water glass and the wine glass. And as you can see, the table is starting to come together. So my vision of what I have in my head is starting to translate onto my table. And that's just such a wonderful feeling when you start to see everything come together. One of my favorite places in Charlotte, the Charlotte Flower Market, and I needed to stop by here to pick up some florals to complete a floral arrangement for the table. Exactly where I'm going. Thank you. Uh. Y'all, soon as my mom walked in, she turned right back around. Uh, she was not down for the cold weather. Um, it is very cold in those coolers, but for the sake of completing this event, I needed to do what I needed to do. And I love this spot. Like, literally, I come out frostbitten, but the joy it gives me when I'm in the inside, just look at all those beautiful colors. You have the yellows, the purples, the whites, the greens, the reds, different types of flowers it just brings me joy to be in such a cold place and i'm not a person that loves the cold but this is one cold place that i actually do love because just i'm a color person so to just see all these colors it's like color overload for me different type of flowers you have your roses you have your daisies you have your hydrangeas which is one of my favorite if not my favorite I think that is my favorite flower. 
Um, just growing up, my both of my grandparents had hydrangea bushes in their yard, and they were just so beautiful. So I, I think that's my favorite flower. But just look at all of these colors. It's just so beautiful. And I was in there for a while, um, and I found some good stuff. Okay, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and apologize to you in advance because I basically completed this table but didn't really get a lot of footage of me completing the table. At this point, I had put down the stemware, the flatware, the chargers. Everything was basically completed. The candles were in the, were in the stemware. Well, not the stemware, but the vases, which had stem, so I guess you can say stemware. But anyway... They were in there. I put the votive candles in their candle holders and everything was just in its place. I had completed, as you can see, the floral arrangements in which I did not get footage of me completing that. And I am just so sorry, but as you can see, stuff start getting a little fast paced. Even though this is the day before the event, I had a lot of things that I had to complete. I still had to clean up. I still had to make sure everything was running smoothly so i just really didn't get to show you all a lot of footage of how the table got to this point but you did get to see a bulk of how the table did get to this point so i'm gonna still go ahead and apologize because yes it is my fault and i could have showed more but when you're trying to get something done it's kind of like you just need to get it done not going to lie at this point I was in awe of my own talent and I'm not one to toot my own horn but I to this day this is one of my best designs that I have ever executed and even though it was on a smaller scale I just thought the beauty of it was just so amazing I didn't skimp on anything you know I had pretty much everything that you could name on this table you had the candles you had the glassware flatware everything that I typically like at an event I was able to execute so like I said this was one of my favorite events that I have done to this day I really enjoyed this um, it was just such a beautiful color palette 
it just came out very well in my opinion and like i said not really tooting my own horn because i always walk away from an event telling myself that i could have done something better and this was like probably my first time walking away from an event and saying i pretty much left everything on the table like I wouldn't have done anything differently. It came out the exact way I wanted it to look. And so with that being said, I'm just very proud of myself. You have to be your own cheerleader. I beat myself up enough sometimes, but this is in one moment that I gave myself kudos. And just when you thought that the table couldn't get any better, and when you light those candles, it just does something. When you light candles in an event, it hits different than when the candles are not lit. It just gives an ambiance of sexiness, romance, just something I cannot explain. And when I lit those candles, I was just like, girl okay you really did this table and i really ended up loving when i tell you i love this i love it i really do The first glimpse at the loose side, some say ghost chairs. They just make an event look so good to me. Like I love loose side chairs at an event. Just so translucent, just makes it seem bigger. I just love them and it just brought the look together. This is what I wanted and this is what I executed. Absolutely beautiful. Honey, this is somebody's wedding table. This is the estate table, honey, at a wedding. Y'all better book me, because I know what I'm doing. I love it. Okay, yes, I know this table was given a lot for some people, but this is how I like to decorate. I like to give and give and give some more. I know this might not be everyone else's style, but this is what I wanted to do. And knowing my sister's style, she likes a lot. She's over the top. So I knew that I needed to make this table over the top, honey. And this table gave what needed to be given, as they say. And I do not regret anything that I did. I'm absolutely in awe. And this is the facial expression you get when you leave no crumbs.
Pat on the back, I did that two snaps. Thanks for watching.